morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. <clears throat> I'm getting the putting this over by hanging Jamie stuff. I have to give their pan back to them. Just stick this in their little bag that I have of, of goodies for them. Um, maybe I will. There we go. So Bob and I were both too tired last night to go look at Christmas lights. So I think we might do that tonight. It kind of depends on how his... His day goes, my day goes, that sort of thing. But at some point, we will get to do that. Um, the concert, I hope you guys enjoyed that footage. It's just live now, so I don't know yet. <laughs> but I hope that you enjoyed the footage of the concert. Just the little bits and stuff that I got. The guy that was, um, so they had the, the kids' Christmas concert. And this actually is at the church that Bob and I used to attend before we changed churches a few years back. And um, so it's good to see some people there that we hadn't seen in a while and, you know, some of those kids that we hadn't seen in a few years had, you know, grown up a bunch. And our good friends, Kurt and Karen, their children, their son is our godchild and then um, their daughter, their daughter was in it and then our godchild was ushering and stuff. And so it was, it was just good. But the guy that was, dude, that came in to do the concert part, his name is Peter Eide. And he, you, for those of you that have been around a little bit and remember back when I used to do the youth gatherings and that sort of thing, um, back when I was part of that church, he was frequently the musical guest for the weekend for both JYG, which is the junior high kids, and then SYG for the senior high kids. And it was good to see him again. We just, you know, we, we shared a hug and said hi and that sort of thing. And so it was really good to, it was just a good night all around. It was tiring, but <laughs> it was a good night all around. So we came home and <clears throat> watched a little TV and then I edited the vlog and we got to bed, I don't know about. 9.30, but I felt like I could have gone to bed immediately when we got home, which is about 8 o'clock. But, anyway, so, by the way, in case you're curious, this little red spot that appears every once in a while, I, I've definitely, it is 100% my CPAP. For you, those of you that don't know, I have sleep apnea and I wear a CPAP. And my mask, there's one part of my mask that hits right there. It hits on both sides, but it doesn't do it on this side. Anyway, so I put some mesh gauze right there every night now and I forgot last night and this is just one night of it not hit my I'm telling you guys I'm a delicate flower <laughs> my skin is like a delicate flower so anyway um we don't have too much like exciting things going on today not that my life is ever exciting but we have church I'm gonna frost cookies right now I'm gonna sit down and make the grocery list and the menu for this week we're kind of living on leftovers <laughs> hashtag living on leftovers um, and because I'm traveling a couple of days and then my sister and her family arrive on Friday. So I need to sit down and figure out the menu of what we're feeding them and they leave on the 24th and go to my parents. Um, so, and, and I need to kind of think through those things because I need to get to the store this week since I'm gone, or I need to get to the store today since I'm gone most of the week. So that's what's going to happen this morning. I have my laundry started, so I'm going to sit down, make my list. Really try to think through everything so I don't have 800 trips to the store between now and Christmas. <laughs> It'd be great if I didn't have that. I want to think about the hors d'oeuvres I'm taking to my brother and sister-in-laws for Christmas Day. They host this year. We host every other year. It switches. I always host Christmas Eve, but they host every other year for Christmas now. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of what you're going to see today, maybe. So, we'll see. Um, I'm pretty tired. So, <laughs> there's a distinct possibility I will force myself to stop and take a nap at some point today. Like, just a half-hour nap but a half hour is better than nothing. Right now, I'm gonna take my vitamins and I'm gonna get some coffee. All right, you guys, it's 8.30. I cut Bobby's hair today. I played hairstylist, didn't I? Yep. And um, he is here, as you can see. <laughs> he has returned. Um, I'm gonna set you guys here. I know that's a little bit low, but that's fine. I need to get out my to-go cup so I make coffee for church. Um, it's the kids' program today at church. I can't remember if I told you guys that or not so we get to see my church cuties and if I can I'll take some footage for you guys um, and I've just <laughs> I turned the camera on to tell you guys this funny so we we're working on menu for when my sister's gonna be here and trying to figure out and Bob said well why don't you do um, you know like eggs and bacon one day and we can do a, you can do up a lot of bacon and then we can have BLTs for dinner like the next night or something and I was like, yeah, I can't, I feel like her kids like sausage. I can't remember. So I, <laughs> so I texted my sister and I said, hey, 
Does your family like bacon? Her response was, more than breathing. So I guess they do. Are you fighting with your camera there? <laughs> All I get is a look. Anyway, so yeah, we are, I, um, I really did, I'm working on my, like I said, my menu and my list. Got myself ready. I'm going to give you guys a quick outfit of the day. Um, boy, no wonder all the batteries keep disappearing. Those things take a lot of batteries, huh? Yeah. Anyway. So, this is what, <laughs> this bedroom's going to be torn apart pretty soon as far as taking down all the curtains. Do I was going to see if these will slide across. Oh, yeah, they will. Okay, good. We're going to have to slide the curtains across and then take those off last so that I can sleep. Otherwise, there'll be all kinds of lights. Anyway, outfit of the day. Um, for church, I am, these, I don't remember where I got these. I apologize, but they are just kind of like, they are pants, but they are more like a skinny pant. So I can wear them with loafers or I can wear them with boots. And uh, they're a little bit thicker, which I like. And last year, well, that it doesn't matter. I was going to say, last year I couldn't wear them at all with these boots because it was it made them too thick because my legs were too big. Anyway, so <laughs> this sweater you guys have seen a bunch of times. I think I got it at JCPenney. I can't remember. But it's got the cute, let me try to turn around. It's got cute detailing in the back. Hopefully I'm giving you an actual shot of that. And um, comes down, like I said, a little bit longer in the back. So yeah, and then Nicholas Bob gave me for an anniversary, and then this necklace actually, my parents gave me this necklace with a cross on it for my 21st birthday, and then a good friend of mine gave me this Packers charm, so you know, the things closest to my heart, <laughs> my faith in the Packers, <laughs> my faith and the Packers, oh I need to put a lip on, I kind of forgot that. So I have the soft glam palette on my eyeballs today, oh and these earrings are from Kendra Scott. I bought them at the Nordstrom. Oh, my legs hurt so much from class yesterday. Whew. I bought them at the Nordstrom um, on Michigan Ave, and I couldn't find them online. I noticed I needed to blend something out here, so let's just have a little quick conversation while I blend. I'm having a hard time. This, I oh, you guys, I did that on the live. This mirror right here, so my mirror, um, the light went out on it, so I ordered a new one. I'm going to try to see if I can fix it. If not, my friend Ange, her husband is like really good with stuff like that, so I may take it over there. So I have to tell you, this, this look today would have been perfect for like a burgundy lip, like a deep burgundy lip, but I was not feeling it. So I used... Um, Milani Lip Liner and Spice, Dalton um, Lipstick in Doll Code, <laughs> lots of dolls, and then um, the Lip Gloss, I don't know exactly what it's called, the Lip Something from, it's, but it's like a gloss from Charlotte Tilbury in Seduction, the one that I use all the time, so that's what I ended up with. All right, I'm going to go get my, hopefully my laundry's going to be done here before we have to leave. And then we're going to go to church. Any wise words for the folks? I did write the checks right here. Not right now. Nope. The man is on a mission. back from church and it's really bright in my house because we've taken all the blinds down and the curtains except for our bedroom look at like tell me window treatments don't make a difference like as far as aesthetics of a house right crazy so I just text a couple people to see if they want any of these blinds because some of them are really nice and not cheap I don't think by the looks of them this is my makeup room I had to move or my office I had to move my desk and then the makeup room. You can't really. That, it's kind of looked like that for a while, actually, because it had, before I had shears, or it was a long time before I had the shears. 
But anyway, um, so some of these weren't cheap blinds. I, I don't want to just toss them, but we're going to, because the windows are going to be completely different, we'll need totally different blinds. So yeah. Anywho, <laughs> what are you going to do? So I've also made my menu for the week my sister's here, like in Christmas. Oh shoot. Glad I said that because I need to figure out what I'm going to make for hors d'oeuvres hot and cold hors d'oeuvre for me to take for Christmas. So, um, other than that though, I made my menu and I've made my grocery list for today. I've made my grocery list for what I'm gonna need to get Friday. You know, things that need to be fresh, like lettuce, tomato, other vegetables, that sort of thing. And um, then I'm gonna head to the store. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know, if we can, maybe I'll go tomorrow or something. I really don't wanna miss the Packer game. And I have 40 minutes now before the packing game starts. So maybe I'll just go and I'll just miss kickoff and end a little bit. And then I'm going to get frosting these cookies. But anyway, I thought I would just give you a shot of the crazy that is my really bright house. It's bright to begin with uh, because the sun's out and then add into it no window treatments and the snow. You guys can see it like... I don't know if you can tell. It just... It's blinding. Anyway, all right. I'm going to go to the store and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, we are home from the store. I put away most of the stuff and um, getting some water boiling for my lasagna noodles. I think I said this at some point. If I didn't, um, or actually, if I'm repeating myself, I apologize for watching the Packers, by the way. Actually, Bob's having a stogie. I'm watching the Packers. And, uh, but anyway, we're having lasagna on Christmas Eve, and so I'm going to make it today and put it in the freezer. Lasagna is one of those things you can totally make in advance, and it's just going to get better. And so, what is Christmas Eve? on Monday. Like I can't keep track of what day is what right now. I'm filling up a pot with water in case you're wondering what's going on. So yeah, so Christmas Eve is on Monday. I'll probably pull it out on Saturday and let it, you know, thaw, the flavors meld. It'll be delightful on the 24th. So I'm gonna get to doing that. All right guys, it's half time. So it's 1.20. And I thought I would show you my thaws is just finishing here. We'll turn the heat off and let it cool just a little bit. Um, I have, this is my, the, the inside of my, the cheesy part, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I use cottage cheese, not ricotta for mine, and then the mozzarella cheese. So I already have a layer of noodles, a layer of this, a layer of mozzarella cheese. And um, then I'm going to let this cool a little bit. And then I'll put a layer of this. All of that again, I end with sauce on the top of mine. And then I'm going to put it, I'm not going to put it in the stone. I've already started doing that. And then I'm going to put that in the freezer. And then we have Christmas Eve dinner all handled. And on Christmas Eve, our service is at 3.30. So we'll get back here about 5 or so. So my guess is we'll probably eat, I don't know, 6.30, something like that. And mom's gonna bring the salad, like a green salad and some garlic bread, and I'm gonna have this and make those Laura's profiteroles. I'll insert a picture here from her website. I hope I'm allowed to do that. Maybe we should ask her. But anyway, I'll, so you know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about profiterole? It's just, you know. Anywho, um, yeah, so I'm eating my leftover Mexican from last night for my first meal of the day at 1.20. Just happens sometimes. And then what's next? Wash my brushes. I want to wipe down my bathroom a little bit anyway. I know that they're going to be in there anyway, but I just want to, it just needs to be wiped down before anybody is in there, in my opinion. Actually, I think I'm going to do that right now. And then, um, while the sauce cools a little bit, let's make good use of my time. And it's half time. Um, I'm washing some curtains because I thought might as well wash them if they're down, the ones put in here. And then I was, I'm gonna wait though, and I'll wash our um, master bedroom ones down the line, seriously, you guys. So, and then I need to wash my brushes, and then I'm gonna frost cookies at some point. Bob's gonna head out to the woods here, a little in a little bit. It's so bright in here, because there's, the shade, I, like, the shade has legit never been up in this, in my bathroom, ever. 
because why? <laughs> so it's like really bright in here. I really don't even need the light, but anywho, so when he goes out, then I'll probably put on a Hallmark Christmas movie and frost some cookies. I may do that sitting down. <laughs> I, think I've, I don't think I've frosted cookies sitting down since I was little, but um, like, and, I, and we would do it as a family. I was just telling a friend about this, how I, I miss those days of sitting down. My whole family would sit down and so there were six of us and we did it, you know, like when my sister was gone as well too, but like the times that I remember, um, for sure my dad would be there. Sometimes my mom or she would be in the kitchen, maybe working on icing or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, some of my favorite memories are, you guys said, by the way, I'm using the Mrs. Myers multi-service cleaner in case you're curious. These are the brackets for the blind that goes in there. I just want to set them right here. Anyway, um, we would all sit. Nothing like I tell you a story while I'm cleaning. If that is <laughs> a childhood memory while I'm cleaning. If that's not a Christian game vlog, I don't know what is. So we would all sit at the table and we would have multiple colors of icing. You know, the same recipe that I used today. I'll show you guys that. Um, and not that there's anything special, but I'll show you in case you're curious. And we would just sit down and as a family, we would talk and laugh and Christmas music on and frost cookies. And it wasn't like a, back then anyway, it wasn't a, let's see how fast we can get this done. It was an event. It was like one of the things we did at Christmas. You know, it was almost Hallmark movie like where you see them sit down and do gingerbreads. Only we didn't do gingerbread because I don't like gingerbread. Um, I don't know if, I don't know if my siblings do or not, honestly, because that just wasn't a thing in our house. We didn't do gingerbreads. Um, but you know, the Hallmark Christmas movie, there's always, they're always decorating gingerbread cookies. Um, yeah, we did not. We, that, that is not something that we did. Anyway, um, so I may sit down. The point of that is I may sit down and, and do it at the, at the table. We'll see. I just want to be able to see the Christmas movie I'm watching while I'm at it, so. All right, I'm going to stop rambling while cleaning, and I'll see you later. Well, we were down 14-6, I think it was, at halftime, and now we just scored a touchdown and made a two-point conversion. So this is my one. I always cook one extra noodle at least, just in case, but I didn't need it. Sad for the noodle. Um, so I have I washed my brushes during the first couple of minutes of the... You actually should have seen me. It was quite humorous. I was... Um, excellent. I was back and forth like I, so, these are the blinds Bob has to toss so there's the guest bathroom I was like walking back and forth between here and there um, in between brushes and plays so I can get my brushes washed so I got those handled and the lasagna is done as you can see so I'm gonna get that wrapped up and into the freezer get some of these dishes put away and then the rest of them washed Bob just left for the woods we're having leftover tacos tonight. Um, Bob goes, I can't believe I have to go to the woods and they're finally playing well. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what to tell you, honey. I don't know what to tell you. So, yeah, I'll show you some of my cookies after I... They're not going to be fancy, friends. I'm going to do just white frosting. We're not going to, you know, I don't have the energy to do what I would like to do. So we are just going to, I'm just going to do white frosting and then I have some sprinkles different kinds of sprinkles I'm going to put on there, but I'll show you some of them when I'm done. So I decided to go ahead and give my sinks a good clean, and then I'm going to do the stove. Even though we have the windows tomorrow, I just want to get this, like the, the hard clean done. I can wipe everything down if it's dusty. And I want to show you, I should have mixed my hands first before I did this. Um, that was close. Uh, <laughs> It's funny because by the time you guys are watching this, you already know the outcome of this game. This is the soft scrub with bleach. Boy, if we could manage to have no penalties here. Um, anywho, that's what I have found. Remember when we were, I was talking to you guys a while back, a couple months back, about I was really having a hard time keeping these things like looking nice and clean. This stuff works amazingly well. So you maybe, maybe can't tell. 
but I should have shown you the before. That would have made more sense. Next time I do this, I'll show you guys. But this color sink, whatever the sink is made of, I have no idea. Um, it's just really hard to keep it clean. I mean, it, <laughs> there'll be little marks on it or whatever. Anyway, it's hard to keep clean. So I use that. I scrub it around. I use one of these little scrubby things. I have one specifically for this that I use, I scrub it around and it works really, really well. So I thought I would just share that with you guys. All right, I was recording a clip for you guys before, but my camera was like, nope, we are done. And it shut off because the battery was dead. So I want to show you before I put this away. This is a quadruple batch of my icing of this recipe. And I have to tell you this, I'll pause in case you guys need to screenshot it. Um, the vanilla that I use Bob has a couple of guys that work for him that are from Mexico. And when they go home, they always bring me back um, vanilla. And in turn, they get treats from me. Um, but anyway, so this goes under F for frosting. They, um, this one that I just opened a new bottle and it's much stronger. So this is a very vanilla-y <laughs> icing. It's fine. It'll be okay. But I was saying before, though, when my, when my um, camera cut me off, is that I did end up getting the, obviously, the sink clean, because I showed you that. And I got the stove clean, which doesn't that look delightful. There's nothing like a clean kitchen. And now what I'm doing is I have all of the measuring cups in soapy water here, as you can see, hopefully. Sometimes when I do that, you can't actually see. And I'm going to turn on the Christmas movie. At the end of baking season, this is kind of what this is, I like to just give all of my measuring cups and, and then teaspoons and, you know, the measuring spoons a good wash. Just, you know, not that they weren't clean, but I just like to give them all one good final wash and then, you know, put them in the cupboard. So I'm going to turn on the Christmas music. I'm going to get those washed so they're drying while I'm frosting cookies. And then, I promise, I'm going to sit down. I'm laughing because I just finished and Bob got home. It's timing. Perfect, really. Um, so these are my little gingerbread men. If you can't tell what these are little gingerbread men I used as buttons. Put a little holly on their things. <laughs> and those are the Christmas trees. Stockings. And then the stars. So yeah. Now I'm going to clean up and apparently make dinner. When I wanted to show you, this is all that was left of the icing. And I'll kind of go like this so you guys can see how thick I like, oops, sorry, how thick I like to have my cookies iced. That might be too much for some people, but there you go. So if you ice them like that, <laughs> then I use four batches. Mm -hmm.